we're on the go with Joe, and today he's learning how a simple fishing trip can help some local veterans. Joe's in the studio with us to tell us about an organization that gets our vets on the water and having fun. Joe, good morning. Yes, good morning, Kim and Shawna. You know, when most of us grab a fishing rod, we're thinking about catching, catching a great big salmon or sturgeon, but today we take you on a boat where fishing is just a lure that can reel in happiness and healing. Basically, what I love is getting other guys out on the water. I mean, it's not windy, it's not raining, it's gonna be a good day. An early morning on the Willamette River, and Dave Othis is ready to reel them in. Five years of doing these trips, I've only been skunked twice, so we should be able to catch some fish. An eight-year Army veteran, Dave donates his time, his talent, and his boat every week, giving free fishing tours to his fellow vets like Randy Montgomery. You were in the Navy? I was. You trust an Army guy driving a boat? <laughs> uh, yeah, he does pretty good. He's not so bad. A lifelong outdoorsman, Dave started work as an electrician when he left the Army back in 2010, but he says something was missing the camaraderie and sometimes unspoken bond that he shared with his fellow servicemen and women. I had a really hard time transitioning out of the military. Spent a lot of time on the boat. I didn't want to be around other people. Having the opportunity to have veterans out on my boat, I thought was really fun. So it's like, hey, why don't you, do you want to come salmon fishing for a day? You know, I'm not going to charge you anything. Like, just come on out. Real, real, real. He started the tours on his own and in the last year partnered with a nonprofit called Warfighter Outfitters that offers different outdoor activities, all veteran getaways, for people like Frank Mosca. When you come back from the desert, the one thing that you kind of miss when you transfer into civilian life is having the close relationships that you have over there. Having an all veteran boat, you can have conversations that you can't have with non-vets on the boat. Yeah. The Army guy makes fun of the Navy guy, and the Navy guy makes fun of the Coast Guard guy, and everybody feeds the Marine crayons. <laughs> yeah. And of course, it's not just about the conversation, but the casting real, real, real. and catching. Frank and Randy are just two of the vets that have done very well on Dave's tours. As for today, Randy hooked a big sturgeon and was doing good until the line snapped. Oh, bro. As for Frank, he's over here. He spent several minutes wrestling a fish of his own. Now, because of the time and location, regulations don't allow him to take this sturgeon out of the water. Go, go, go. But he brought it close enough for us to get a good look. Oh, I see something. Woo, look at that. And a good soak. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that feel? We're good. Warfighter Outfitters is a 100% volunteer organization all run by veterans like Dave. They've provided tours to thousands of vets, and they hope to help thousands more. Sometimes it's hard for veterans to reach out. We don't like to ask for help sometimes, and we get comfortable in our ways, whether it's you know sitting at home or whatever it is, but this is worth it. You get outside, you get to do something you've either done before or haven't done and meet some new people and I don't know, it's fun. So no matter your branch or your rank, around here you're all in the same boat. And with Dave's help, you just may be able to reel in a great big fish along with a little piece of mine. Something about being on the water gives you a recharge that you can't get doing anything else. I just love it. Yeah, we it, love it. It's yeah. so fantastic. And uh, Warfighter Outfitters, that's the name of that organization. They work with vets all over the state, not just here in the Portland area, but uh, they've got a big contingent in uh, Bend and mm, Central Oregon. Right. So they do hunting, they do fishing, all sorts of activities to get vets together outside. Just Gives me goosebumps. Fun. Yeah, you absolutely. know, the part that really struck me, I think, is them talking about how much they miss that camaraderie. You know, and you I've, know? having worked with a couple of different veterans organizations, yeah. you hear that all the time right. about how you know they get home and they can't share their experiences yeah. but when they're around other vets there's just things they can say they don't even have to say anything sometimes right. it's kind of like an unspoken bond and i do want to mention uh they're an all-volunteer organization made up of all veterans so they're always looking for people to help with donations and that yeah. sort of thing but it's one of those things where there's nobody's getting a salary they're doing this yeah. all on their own I mean, dave's providing his own boat for this thing so, so people can can they find the information about yeah well at their webs at their website which we'll have a link to at kptv.com okay. uh, you know they're always looking for for help, but it's really veterans helping veterans, which is such a cool thing. Yeah. It's fantastic. Great story. We love it. Great stuff.